In this video, we're going to continue building our scene by looking at the terrain. There are two ways to make terrain in Unity. We can use the terrain engine, or we can create our own terrain using a 3D model. For small games like Coconut Hut, or games targeted at mobile platforms, it's a lot easier just to use a 3D model and create our own terrain than it is to use the terrain engine. For large desktop games, the terrain engine is definitely the way to go. I'm going to briefly diverge from the Coconut Hut path and take a look at the Unity Terrain Engine. Even though we won't be using it for the development of Coconut Hut, it's still well worth looking at. One of the first Unity demo projects to be released was called the Island Demo. Now, in a lot of ways, the Island Demo is obsolete, so much so that you can't get it at the Asset Store or at the Unity website anymore. I'm going to include a copy of it in your Working Files folder. Now, I don't recommend you look at the island demo for the way to do things, since things are done differently in Unity now. But one of the things the island demo did really nicely, so much so that it is still a good example today, is the island terrain. Somebody at Unity put a lot of work into building these islands. Let's take a look at them. So I'm going to go to full screen and run this. And you can see right away, this is a really nice terrain. Somebody put a lot of time into building the terrain. Trees, grass, paths, flowers. I'm just going to run up to the top of the hill here so that you can get a good look at the scale of this terrain and what you can really do with the Unity Terrain Engine. If you're planning on making a large desktop game, you really want to investigate all of the capabilities of the terrain engine. We're almost there, just give me another second. I just want to get up kind of near the top here so you get a good look at what you can do with the terrain engine. It's really quite fantastic. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this is a really nicely done massive set of islands. Now, how was it done? Let me select the terrain. So what are some of the things you can do with the terrain? Well, the terrain has all of these tools here. You can raise and lower the terrain. You can pick one of these brushes. So I'm gonna deform this terrain a little bit. Hopefully I won't break it too much, but I'll just give you an idea of what you can do. So as you can see, I can change the form of the terrain and I'll deform it as well, higher and lower. All right, I'm just gonna undo those changes because I don't wanna mess this terrain up too badly. I can paint to a specific height so I can create a plateau if I want. If I want to sample the height, I just hold the shift key and then click and that samples the height there. And then after that, I can simply paint to that height and create a plateau at that height. I'm going to undo that. I can smooth. So if I decide these are too rough, I can just come over here and I can smooth them out. And it'll kind of sample the different areas and flatten it out. This has already been smoothed, so you're not seeing that much of a difference, but you can see the height is smoothing there. I'm going to undo that. I can paint textures. As you start to layer textures, you can see a green texture and the browner texture, one layered over the other. You can really start to get some nice effects by the time you have two or three textures layered. You can paint different kinds of trees. So I could just come here and I could paint trees in that area. Again, I'm going to undo that. And you can paint the detail elements like ferns. So again, I could come in and I could fill this valley with ferns. I'm going to undo that. And then there's a whole bunch of details, how big the terrain should be, the tree density, and all kinds of things like that. I think it would be quite possible to create a single video series just on all of the things that you can do with the terrain engine. You could easily talk for hours and hours and hours and show all the different ways that you can build a terrain. So if you're building a large desktop game, you're really going to want to dive into the terrain engine and just start playing with it. But now we're going to go back to our little islands. Nowhere near as massive as this, but something much simpler for a beginner to get his head around. And let's just grab our main scene and go back to our islands. So right away, you can see that our islands look pretty flat, not so textured, not so nice. And part of that is because of the shader that is applied by default when you import a model into Unity. If you look at the shader that was applied by default, Unity has applied the diffuse shader. 
Now we can start bringing some detail out to take this really flat kind of blurry texture and start to give it more of a sandy grainy look. So the first thing we can do is we can go to a bump shader and we can bring in our normal map. And right away you can see some shadows happening here. These are a bit too big so we're going to tile this a little bit. And now let's just go to full screen and run this. So you can see already now we're getting that grainy look to our island just by changing the shader. We've gone from a really flat, blurry island to an island with quite a bit of texture in terms of the terrain. Now we can make this even better if we go to the parallax shader, which will allow us to control the height a little bit more. We're just going to use the same normal map as the height map. You could, of course, pick a different one and change the flavor. And maybe we'll tile this, let's say, a little more detailed, just so that it's not exactly the same. And let's go to full screen again and run that now. And so now we're really starting to get a completely different feel to the island. It's starting to be textured. Now, what's missing? Well, what's missing is some shrubs and some trees. And one of the things we can actually do is we can actually go into that island demo. We can find some shrubs or some trees, whatever we like. We could export them. Now we know how to export them as an asset package and we could import them back into our scene here. We can place them manually or we could write a script to place them. We're not going to have all the flexibility that you would get with the terrain engine, but we can start to build up the island texture by bringing in some of those models and laying them about on the island. So keeping that in mind, for now, we're going to end the video on terrains and we'll come back and look more at some other ways that we can start to add layers of texture to our islands.